Hello, fellow phantom thieves. Oh, wish I had some alliteration there. Anyway, we're back. It's Tuesday. We couldn't do Stellaris. So I'm back with more Persona 5 Strikers. Or Persona 5 Scramble the Phantom Strikers, if you really want to be anal about it. Anyway, decided to shake things up a bit and not have us open up on the intro song, and I'm so sorry if you were looking forward to that. I know it's a banger. Uh, but I thought I'd go ahead and make sure we were done in Sapporo before immediately hopping into the RV. So, just want to run up the clock a bit since I did start a bit early. Make sure my dang Twitch app is actually sending out the notification that I'm live. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and say that there were a few things to do around Sapporo before we left. I did a little bit of shopping for some ingredients, and also a couple of the teammates decided to give me something to remember Sapporo by, but they didn't. Aside from uh, Sophia saying she found my phone comfortable when we stopped by a smartphone store, there wasn't really anything of note. Hello, Colossal Almond. Alright, that's two minutes. Twitch is still being quiet, but I might as well poke my head into the RV. Let's get to work. There's the notification. Three minutes later than when I hit live. What's on the menu? Let me help. No, you stay out of the kitchen. Whoops, didn't want to go that make? far back. Let me help. So I can either make miso ramen. Actually, I can make both. They don't have shared ingredients. But what about the stew? The stew does have shared ingredients. Uh, if I make... Make two stews. You want to make that? Yes, I do. On, I do. Looks good. Then I can come down here and make. Oh, good idea. Plenty. I'll even save an onion in case another recipe calls for it. Whew. All done. So, which girl is best girl? Hithumi. <laughs> no best girls on this trip. Only the B squad. All right. Uh, there was an option to put stuff in the RV, if memory serves. I don't want to discuss. Let's not talk about it, guys. Uh, though maybe it just gets put in automatically? Not sure. There doesn't seem to be an option to do any of that. I'll just add this. Alright, well, I'm not going to puzzle around with that. Let's just head over to co 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 oh Boy, there's the stroke. Go what in. What are you going to do? Yep, we are. Let's go. Off to Okinawa. I thought we were going to Kyoto, but uh, my memory is fuzzy. Would you like me to drive for a while? Don't worry about me. You just get some sleep. We've still got a long way to go. Are you sure? Why am I in the passenger seat? I don't want to be up here. <laughs> it's been a while. You kids don't need to be worrying over an adult like that. This is nothing for me. To be fair, you are an excellent driver. The RV tends to shake a lot more when I'm behind the wheel. I may not look it, 
but I used to patrol in a squad car. Driving second nature to me at this point. Teach me how. I need a getaway car. Sure. Once you've got a license. I can drive a moped. Being police. Oh wait, no, that's Persona well, 4. It sure ain't easy. Oh right. You're studying to become some police bigwig, aren't you, Nijima? Yes, but I've only just begun. Wouldn't really recommend it myself. This job's nothing but hell. Your hours are a mess. You get transferred all over the place. Anything goes down at the scene, you get blamed. Maybe so, but my heart's set on it, no matter how tough it may be. Her dad was a cop. Uh, I don't really know if we'll have your back, and I don't want to make false promises. You'll do great, Makoto. Thank you. Well, if your heart's set, then do what you gotta do. But as your future senior, I'll share this. The harder you work, the more you wind up putting the people in your life on the back burner. Oh, um, she knows don't that. Care about your schedule. Tragedies don't care. You'll barely see your own home. Sit on that for a bit. Then decide if the force is right for you. Well, I am already quite aware. And speaking of, don't you have any family waiting for you at home? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> Trouble at home, Zinkichi. Aw, oh, can it? Just mind your own business. How can I? Let's just say you've got to think about yourself before you can worry about anyone else. Yes, I suppose that's true. Hmm? What's up now? You just reminded me of my father, is all. Oh he no, was don't go there. An officer too. Unfortunately, he lost his life on duty. I see. He took his job a lot more seriously than you seem to, but when you boil it down, you two are actually quite similar. <laughs> you shouldn't diss your father so badly, comparing him to me. Uh hmm. So, uh, Nijima, when you were little, your old man probably wasn't home often either, was he? How'd you feel about that? Huh? Uh, well... I hated his guts. In retrospect, I'm very proud. Uh. My father was an officer who acted on his beliefs all the way to the end. He taught me that his duty was to keep people from being hurt. It may just be his influence on me, but I think becoming an officer is still an admirable path in life. If only that were always true. Our ability to help is restrained. The shrewder and more malicious the target, the less we can so I think this is going to be Makoto's arc next. Held back by superiors, held back yeah. by the red yeah, tape, held that. back by all sorts of laws. The only thing the police do is obey orders. Even when they involve total injustice or an absence of human logic. Basically, the cops I see every day are nothing but a bunch of spineless dogs. And that includes when I'm looking in the you know what? Plot twist. It's Zinkichi's. We already saw him in the intro. We know he gets an awakening. Just waiting for that moment. Uh, so you're a dog too? Ah, do I, I don't want, yeah, sure. Let's be rude. Local Texan feels rude tonight. I'm a lot more loyal to my master than I look. Yeah. But, anyway, that wasn't what I was getting at. I meant, when you were still just a kid... How did you feel about your dad rarely being home, Nijima? Oh, when I was younger? I did understand that it was part of his job, but I do remember missing him, still. But at least I always had my sister with me. Hmm. I see. Sorry to bother you with all that. You guys had better get to sleep already. If we run into trouble while you're all too tired, I'm the one who'll be in real deep shit. Okay, well hold on. It's hard to open the tent while you're driving. Cruising on down Main Street. Uh, I slept so much that even sleep's boring now. What do? Well, is anyone feeling peckish yet? Although I suppose we've nearly reached Kyoto. Come on, Ryuji. Make us laugh. Don't tell me to perform for you. I ain't some comedian. Shit, not now. I'll take the wheel for you. Don't be stupid. Just answer for me, will you? Uh, make it quick, though. Just say I'm driving, and then I'll call back later. The caller ID says it's out. It's someone named Akane. Hello. 
Hey, the Phantom Thief speaking. Where are you? Don't tell me you forgot what day it is. We were supposed to visit Mom's grave together. I'm sorry to hear that. Huh? Who is this? Please give him his phone back. Sorry, he's driving right now. We're going through a tunnel. I... Here. You. Driving? Oh, I guess that makes sense. What is it? Who's calling? Is it some kind of emergency? Why don't you just pull over, Gramps? Do I hear a bunch of girls with you? What an asshole! You're just out partying right now, aren't you? Ooh, she sounds pissed. <sighs> Thanks, ladies. Details, but is everything all right? Uh, uh, really? <laughs> yeah, she got the wrong impression. Thanks to you, ladies. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Just forget it. So, who was that anyway? My daughter. Daughter? You have one? Yeah. Damn it. Sorry. Time to floor it. Hang on to your seats, kids. No, oh, here we are. So speaking of dogs and dog houses in PG. Okay, we're in Kyoto City Limits. Is this good? I really have to go. Just park this somewhere and check out the temples or something. I'll be in touch tomorrow. Wait, tomorrow? Where is their overnight? That's what Sophia's what for. He's been in quite the state since that phone call earlier. Maybe plans to keep, or something. Mr. Insecure, thank you for the 100 bits. Poor Zenkichi, he's just trying his best. He is. He did so well on the road, but then dumped us in Kyoto. Though I guess having an AI help us find stuff is better. That's, that's his business. I don't know. Based on my deductions, today seems to be the day Zenkichi's wife passed away. Sophia! She's due at her grave to pay respects. Boundaries, Sophia! Boundaries! I don't know how you... I mean, I guess that's, that's a good Google search would figure that out. But really? Really, Sophia? For humanity's companion, you sure do give everything away. Next lesson is privacy. Zenkichi-san's wife passed away? That's why his daughter demanded to know where he was. Oh, Senkichi. He could have just told us what was going on. Also, wasn't the way she was talking to him, like, really bad? Especially for today? She was enraged by the sound of young female voices. She surmised, you're just out partying right now, aren't you? Whoa. Talk about getting the wrong idea. <sighs> That's terrible. We need to go straighten things out with her right away. No, that's not going to go well at all. A bunch of teenage girls show up while he's visiting his mo his wife's grave. Are you fucking kidding me? Maybe we should stay out of it, guys. We can't do that. We're the ones who talked him into that whole mess. And we're just going to make it ten times worse. Guys, we're in an anime. This isn't going to go well. I have found only one cemetery in the vicinity. He will be there. Van Planet, thank you for the six-month streak of Tier 2 subage. Yeah, that wouldn't send the wrong impression at all. Yeah, no, we're going to make things ten times worse, and it's going to suck. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. <sighs> uh, Akane? I'm not here for excuses. Go have fun with your girls. Goodbye. No, no, you don't understand. I'm on the job right now. Do not come near me again. Got it? Can't even catch mom's killer. <sighs> Can't even look your daughter in the eye? Of course. You refuse to face up to anything, the way I see it. You're no father to me. Uh, well, you know. 
Uh, low blow, Akane. Low blow. Oh yeah, this helps. What even do? We really crashed that ship. She's really eviscerating him. This whole thing is entirely our fault. We're the ones who should explain everything. <sighs> yeah, this is gonna um, look great. Hang on a second. Um, please. Hold on, guys. I know how to take the energy right out of this. Hey, Akane, we're the Phantom Thieves. What? She's gonna find out anyway. This is all a misunderstanding. I don't know why we're here, but we'll try to help. What? You guys? What are you doing here? You have that reaction now? Like, three of us already spoke up already. Who are you? I'm the guy from the phone. Huh? And why are... She's totally suspicious of us. I would be too, but... Sorry to barge in on this, but please, we have to tell you something first. Why did you come here? I told you, wait until tomorrow! Well, we are the ones responsible for upsetting your daughter. Akane chan right? We are working a case together, so we were all traveling as a group until he ran off to meet you. Since your father volunteered to handle the driving, he answered the phone instead. That's right. How a local Texan here. Your dad? Oh, no. Not doing that. <laughs> That's right. So, when I talked to you... Mm -hmm. He was driving us all to Kyoto. We're so sorry we upset you. Oh, uh, I see. In that case, please excuse my awful behavior. I'm sorry for jumping the gun and making a scene like that. I still hate his guts, but now I, I'm sorry I made a scene. Whoa, she's so well behaved. She's already more mature than Ryuji. Shut up. But for real, uh, she don't seem like you'd be his kid. Yeah, I'm gonna. Ha that's gonna count. Take a shot. You shut up. So Akane-chan, you and your dad made a promise about today. Right? We are so sorry he got here late. That's totally our fault, too. Oh no, it's... It's fine. Yeah. I'm sorry too, Akane. I promise. I really did remember it was today. It's just... Uh, this case is dragging us all over the place, and... <laughs> What's so funny? Uh... Well... Uh... Oh boy. Someone called the Hurt Locker because he just stepped on a landmine. Also, you told me none of this. Couldn't you have simply explained all this to me before today? She's ripping into him at an adult level. To think she's so cold to her father on such a day. Uh, oh, ha, ha, uh, you know how the police can't talk about active cases and stuff, right? That's right. In the force, any information about a case that leaks to the public could ruin all our hard work. <sighs> Come on, just cut him some slack. Ryuji! Sure, I, I don't got a right to talk, considering all the hell I put my own mom through. But he's taking care of you, right? So don't go biting his head off over this. Oh my god, is it Ryuji's arc? Have we hit Ryuji's arc? All right, bring out the popcorn. I'm here for this. Yeah, if I did that to Sojiro, it'd probably take him the better part of the year to recover. Okay, wait, no, hold on. I guess it's just a common point. We'll wait. I'll wait for this. I'll wait for Ryuji's arc. I mean, it's not like. Don't tell me um, if I'm right or wrong. I just want to find to it out naturally. Though. I'm sure you have your own reasons for what you said. But his delay really was because of work. Please, at least don't blame him for that. <laughs> Zenkichi did nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll go for it. Leave Zenkichi alone! I understand. Thank you, Akane-chan. We especially regret causing trouble on such an important day. May we pay our respects as well? Sure. Guys, uh... Thanks. Don't sweat it. Don't forget you owe us one too, Zenkichi. Hey, zip on the lips, cat. I am not explaining all this to Akane. Don't Akane only hears the cat. Akane can't hear a thing. Come on, let's go pay our respects.
So, two years. How the time flies. Well, I mean, I have I have that knowledge, but we weren't here for that. Actually, wait, yes we were. We were just off screen. We totally heard that it was a murder. Ah, uh, fine. Was it an accident? I'll walk into this trap. It was... A murder. I should go home. Oh. Well, why don't we go together? I'll order some takeout. No, thank you. I want nothing to do with you. Uh, hey! Akane! And now both her parents She's are dead. Stopping. Boy, is she icing Gramps out or what? This isn't just some teen rebel thing. But she's so polite, too. I really wonder what could have happened. Hey, sorry about all that. You guys really did save me back there. Uh, I've got to get home, but I'll see you all tomorrow. Be in touch. Yeah? Did we really oh save us, you? But you sure you're good to just go home like that? Ah, uh, don't worry. She's just at that age, you know? I know you don't get home too often, but is everything okay there? Akane-chan's eating well and all that? Okay, Makoto, read the damn room, or read the damn cemetery. Clearly, nothing is going well for this guy. Yeah, my wife's parents are just next door. She just shuts herself up in a room every day, is all. From what they tell me, she always eats in a room. Easy package stuff. Really? It's that bad? <sighs> I'm always at work, so I really don't know anything about her diet. She's a growing young lady. I hope she's at least eating well. I can feed her some Big Bang Burgers! I mean, I send her money at least. She's already a third year in middle school. I'm pretty sure she's set in her ways. <laughs> CM Sully. Sinkichi, no, you're Gramps. We're invading your house and fixing your problems. That's the Phantom Thieves way. <sighs> well, I guess, yeah, I, I, do I really? Am I really? We shouldn't leave her alone. Yeah, after what we put her through, I want to at least do something nice for her today. Her dad's taken decent care of us so far. Why don't we treat him and the kid to a nice meal? That's a great idea. I'd like to speak more with her. I mean, we guys, cook. guys, I only have 190,000 yen in my wallet. I don't know if we can afford to splurge. Sounds like we'll need to stay over tonight. Let's make sure we pick up plenty of groceries. All right, everyone, after Akane. Huh? Wait, wait a minute! You can't just invite yourselves over like that, damn it! Hey! Hey, you damn kids! Are you seriously crashing my place? Am I just talking to myself here? Yes, yes, you are. And Lord Tortle, thank you for the five gift subs. Welcome to the team, everybody. Draco Mag uh, Magnius, uh, Phantom Thieves, we st stick our nose in everyone's personal business. Yep. We change your hearts and crash your home. Akane-chan, could you please pass the potatoes? Oh, uh, of course. <laughs> oh, no need to be so formal with us. We can keep it real. Real? <laughs> okay, thanks. But not for real, or else we'll all get drunk. Mm -hmm. You got it. Akane. Would you mind helping me cut the carrots? Okay, sure. <laughs> well, they seem to be getting along in there. I guess she's warming up to us, huh? I seriously didn't think that could happen when we first met her. It's all thanks to your efforts? Your meddling? Yeah, sure, what a relief, huh? I can no longer sit idly by. I want to help too. I got it. I'll find an award-winning recipe and... And give it to me so I can cook and raise all of our stats. Chill your circuit, Sophia. The curry always tastes good when you make it together with someone. Is that so? I can't believe you've all raided my house like this. <laughs> you guys have some serious nerve. Although... <laughs> I can't remember the last time this place felt so alive. Hey, so... Gramps? You don't gotta answer if you don't wanna, but... What happened with Akane's mom? Hmm. <laughs> wait a minute. Are we all still wearing shoes? Ryuji, are you still wearing shoes? Oh, wait, no. That's your pants. Or shirt? 
Okay, no, Haru's not wearing shoes. I think we're up. Shoes off. Shoes off, everybody. Vehicular manslaughter. A hit and run. <laughs> so that's what she meant. You could say she never saw it coming. <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> she said something about the killer too, right? Did they ever get caught? No case was ever pursued. Any suspect is way out of my reach. Too soon, Quinn. It's been two years for them. <laughs> well, I mean, we'd have some experience with this. Are they out of your reach? You just gotta go kill God. It's none of your concern. Sure, but... Hey, would you help put the finishing touches on this? Come on, off to work. It better be worth the hassle. Mmm, so good! Oh, oh, these vegetables in Kyoto make curry so amazing! <laughs> oh, <laughs> gagged for awesome! My joke was that Akane's mother was killed by the same person who killed Nanako's mom. Yeah, no, these hit-and-run drivers, they seem to get away all over Japan. Let me try, let me try! Mmm, this is delicious! I'll have to report this back to Sojiro! Oh, Vamp Planet 419, thank you for the 2,500 bits. And more total, thank you for the 100 bits. I hope those aren't for my terrible joke, but I appreciate it if they were. <laughs> yeah, I knew he'd lose it. Curry that moves diners to tears? I wish I could try it. How would that even work? I want some too, but it's still too hot. Don't worry, Morgana. We'll be sure to leave some for you too. We always say that, but the we never do. The operation thinks of everything. I'm quite jealous of you, Meowgana. Excuse me? Meowgana? Who are you talking to? The cat. Uh, oh, uh, just myself. <laughs> it's not that strange to talk to a cat and intuit answers. Anyway, how's our curry, Akane-chan? Do you like it? Is it good, Akane? <laughs> it's delicious. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. I hope the arsenic I put in your sugar, food works, Sophia. Dad. Oh, man. The Kamo eggplant gives this curry an amazing flair. I'm getting inspired. I've just thought of a new recipe. Whoa, did you just come up with a new dish? I can't wait to try it out. Oh man, I could eat this all day. Time for another round. Not today, Futaba. I'm taking another helping first. No, give all Morgana right, his share. Up. There's still more than enough to go around. It really is good. Do you think I could make it by myself? Well, if we can level up your social link, I'm sure you can. I agree. You're very quick to learn. You'll be a curry master in no time. Oh, thanks. I'll do my best. Oh, I've got an idea. Want to take a bath later, Akane-chan? Huh? A bath? That's the best way for us girls to get to know each other better. I can teach you all the supermodel secrets to glowing skin. Really? Well, that'd be great. I'd like to learn those too. Mind if I joined you? No. Come on. How big do you think the bathroom is here? <sighs> okay. Nobody be creeping. Nobody. Looking at you, Ryuji. Be creeping. You really saved my ass back there. Place may be cramped, but Wait. It's the night. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to intuit that that was from cooking the curry and not from the communal bath. We're having a good. I mean, am I? I'm not sure. I'm glad it all worked out. Who the hell would ever guess the Phantom Thieves are a bunch of softies? If someone is suffering, it's only right to provide aid when possible. Yeah? <laughs> we just do what we know we gotta do? 
Help the weak and crush the strong. That's the Phantom Thieves way and always will be. Yeah, Zinkechi, we should know each other better. Let's go take the bath after the girls are done. We'll share tips. I'll tell you the story about how we beat God. And we never forget when someone provides us a meal or a roof. Ever. Oh, really? <laughs> At any rate, I still wanted to thank you guys properly. It's been a long time since I've seen Akane so happy. Uh -huh. So, Gramps, about what we were saying earlier. Mm. <clears throat> Sorry. Ugh, a whole day's driving, finally catching up to me. You were saying, Sakamoto? Uh, it, it's nothing. Sorry, but I gotta hit the hay. Would you guys mind hanging out with Akane in her room for a bit? First of all, mm, weird thing for your for the father to ask like a group of half guys, half group, a group of half guys, a group that is half guys. Like there's eight of us. You want us all to go into your daughter's room? Okay, I just want to double check what Ryuji said. I actually missed it. Moving on. She's into some kind of online thing lately. Something to do with some show about her faves? Clearly, I don't know anything about it, but I'm sure she'd be happy to fill you guys in on it. Roger that. We got you covered. Hear that? We've accepted a mission. Don't put it on the damn requests app. I'm tired of grinding that. Alright, how tiny is her room? Watch it be the size of the hideout back in, uh, Yurganjaya. Uh, Good God! What the? So, this is my room. HA! <laughs> is this really all Phantom Thieves merch? I didn't even know they made this much stuff. Well, uh, they are real famous, you know. Pretty sure some of these were only posted on super obscure websites, too. Damn it, Futaba, we told you to get off the merch business. That, okay, look right below Yusuke's head in the kind of far right of the screen. Is that a mask? Uh, okay, I was wondering if like it had eyes in it, but it doesn't. It's just the background design. But it even has that mask just by itself. And then there's another one in the bookshelf. What the fuck? Hold on. Hold on. Now on the other side, on the far right, I can see, is that a, a silhouette of Akechi? God damn it, Akane. We have so much we need to talk to you about. There are even some handmade ones. It's too much, isn't it? I know, it's lame. No, that's not it, Akane-chan. You're into the Phantom Thieves, yeah? Huh? Well, uh, yeah. Makoto's giving us all a loaded expression. Oh, neat. We're all the same then. Hold on, can we zoom in on Makoto's face for that loaded expression? Huh? You mean you're uh yup, we're uh huge Phantom Thieves fans. <laughs> right, right! <laughs> I love the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> uh go, go, Phantom Thieves! Change their hearts and all that stuff. Okay, actually, hold on. You, given the fact that he's investigating us, how the hell does Zenkichi not realize this? Like, open her door and you can see it's just Phantom Thieves. I mean, she's not going to buy it, but yeah, I mean, this, this is pretty much on par with how well we've been keeping the secret anyway. We are the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> I guess your hairdos actually do remind me of them. I'm into the Phantom Thieves, because they seem like the only ones changing this crappy world for the better. They're not just fighting with their lives to save the people in trouble. They inspire people to be stronger, too. They've got up to eight or nine members, but all their identities are still a mystery. Unless you work for the government. From the footage gathered online, they all seem so cool. I can't help but wonder who they really are. Especially the one who's always in the middle. I think he's the leader. So mysterious. Eh, and sorry. Creamy. You're not my type, Akane. Oh, by the way, I just noticed Morgana is kind of represented by the little, well, not little, but the ghosty figures. But when you have the seven silhouettes in the upper right, no Morgana. I just find that funny. 
Morgana got stiffed by the merch. Oh. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Maybe we should tell her. She's gonna find out eventually. You really do like the Phantom Thieves, huh? Damn, Morgana Chan is so awesome. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to rant like that. <laughs> it's no problem at all. I'd love to hear more about the Phantom Thieves. <gasps> Great! Oh, you know, maybe I could let you in on the show. Wait a minute. Are we about to read some Phantom Thieves fanfic written by you? I kind of want to see it. Just see how bad it is. But now apparently there's a show? What show? It's a live stream that's sort of all about the Phantom Thieves. Oh. Oh no. Interesting. Stream in a stream. Yep. Stream in a stream. Sounds like a great show. Okay, just give me a sec. It's almost time. <clears throat> it's been some time since we last met, fellow Phantom Freaks. Let oh, us enjoy shit. our time together tonight, Phantom Thieves super fans across the world. She mentioned a stream, but I didn't realize she was the streamer. What? It's like a totally different personality. So this is the online thing she's into? I think she's doing the voice for that action figure. Is she <laughs> copying you? Hmm. <laughs> she ain't no local Texan. Whoa, pretty close. Dude, he is him. It is time to express our gratitude for the Phantom Thieves from the bottom of our hearts. Your channel has over 50,000 subscribers. That's what the fuck? To your account. I bet she's pulling in a decent income from this. I certainly hope it's not like Twitch subscribers. 50,000 subs? And here TFS sits with 83 views. Ouch, Green Eldritch. Ouch. <laughs> Get in there, Morgana. You're a cat. People will love it. Oh, really? Should I go be a special guest? Oh, shit. Final boss, Bowser. Damn it. What even has Mishima been doing in the main game? Yeah, no. The fan site needs streams. So there are other supporters of the Phantom Thieves beyond the fan site alone. Oh, hey, name drop. It's embarrassing to admit, but it feels kind of nice. My dear freaks, I'm sure you're aware of the Phantom Thieves' celebrated comeback as of today. Three more incidents fitting their MO have surfaced across Japan. This is cause for celebration. Let us welcome the return of the Phantom Thieves with open arms. <laughs> she really acts the part. Maybe she's just in an extra good mood? Her dad did come home today. Yeah, no, next time I do this stream, I may just grab an action figure and put it in front of a webcam. That seems to be her secret. I have to agree. She reminds me of when my own dad would finally come home. Really? You streamed like this too? What did you call it? Fist of the Phantom Channel? You really want to find out? No, 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 sorry, sorry. Well, that's... Basically what an episode's like. You did that for an hour, Akane. What the fuck? That was great. You're an excellent showrunner. The spectators seem really into it, too. A lot of slurs in chat, but yeah. Lord Arkai, thank you for the 25-month resub. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I've been doing these ever since the Phantom Thieves first popped up last year. Kids these days are so impressive. Really, Grandma? I admit, my grades are kind of slipping. I should probably scale back on the live streams for a bit, especially with high school entrance exams coming up and all. In that case, would you like some help studying? You mean it? Of course. Uh, would anyone mind? Sorry, I got distracted. What were you saying? Yeah, have fun, Makoto. Oh, thank you. A 
And you could do that with the parentheses any time you deal with factorization. Wow, thanks, Makoto-san. You're a really good teacher. I'm glad to hear this is helping. Okay, on to the next one. Uh, good thing we left this to Makoto. No way we would have been any help. Yeah, they weren't exactly falling over themselves for us to help out anyway. Thank you so much for doing all this for me. Oh, it's the least I could do. We had to make up for intruding last minute and everything. Oh, no, not at all. I mean, like, I'm glad you did. It's been a long time since I hung out with someone. What about your friends? I don't have any. Well, I grew up in Tokyo, so I don't really have any friends here. Really? I thought your father was in the Kyoto police. Well, after mom's accident, he transferred here from Tokyo. He said it's because my grandparents live here. He seems like a good dad. He probably didn't want you to be all alone all the time. Yeah, that's not it. He just wants to blow me off and go get drunk every night. Not just that. He... Mom was murdered, and he won't... Uh, huh. I... I'm sorry. It's all right. You've been through so much, Akane-chan. I've just been so depressed ever since Mom died. I wasn't having fun with stuff like I used to. Before I even knew it, all my friends had ditched me. I see. But nowadays, I'm doing a lot better thanks to my subscribers. Parasocial relationships for the win? I don't think so. But when I'm not streaming, I still... I get really lonely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you wanna know something? I lost my mother when I was young. Huh? Wait, how did your mom die? Was someone else hit by a car? At that point, my father had to raise my sister and me all by himself. Not only that, he was a police officer too. He would always be home so late, if at all. It happened so often that I really believed for a while that he didn't care about us. <laughs> Cars are the most prolific killers of mothers in Persona. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Wakaba got killed by a car too! Oh my gosh. I mean, that had different circumstances, but yeah, just all the moms getting run over by cars. But one day, he was struck by a vehicle during an investigation and he passed away. I had no idea. I had so many regrets at that point. I especially wished I'd shared more with my father. He had worked so hard for our family and the public. And I never thanked him at all for it. Just thought over and over. There's so much I wish I could say. I know it's not my place to speak on your father and your relationship. But even still, I wish you could find a way to not blame your father for his work. But he... Hmm? He's the one that ran her over! Sorry. If it's okay with you, would you tell me what happened between you and your father? Mm. I saw him. The man that ran mom over. What? Oh shit. But they never arrested him. The secretary left behind some suicide note. Apparently it said, I'm the one who ran over that woman. That doesn't... If, if the police had an eyewitness, They'd never make such a huge error in their investigation. That's what he said. At first. Eventually, he gave up on it too. Him and the rest of the police. None of them listened to me. And I told them so many times. Why? Because I'm just some kid? The guy who killed my mom is still out there. Akane-chan. He doesn't care about mom anymore. He doesn't care about me. I know he's just trying to find the next woman so he can get on with his life. I know he thinks I'm just in the way. I wish anyone but him was my father. Stop that. <laughs> there is absolutely no way that your father doesn't care about you. I know you've suffered a lot, Akane-chan, but I really believe there has to be some sort of explanation for this. Hasegawa-san may seem like he doesn't care. I have a feeling he does, in his own way. Just a bit ago, he went through a lot of effort trying to reunite a lost boy with his mom. He's been there for us as well. But 
that's just... I really mean it when I say Hasegawa-san reminds me of my own father. Are you serious? Even when I couldn't see him, he was always giving it his all for my sister and I. His family was always on his mind. And that's why I think your father's always working so hard as well, Akane-chan. Really? His face looks so much happier when you're around. It's completely different from when he's out in the world. That should prove just how important you are to him. You're the biggest thing in his world. <sighs> Pushing him away isn't going to make you feel any better. It's only going to hurt you more. Instead, you should tell him how you really feel. Tell him everything, so you can't regret it later. No matter what you have to say, I know he'll listen to you. <laughs> to talk with me anytime you want. I'll be there for you whenever you need it. Thank you. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Why is Akane crying? Is she in pain? <laughs> I'm curious too. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's really fun to have that kind of heart-to-heart, heart-to-heart <coughs> heart chat, and then have six strangers gawking at you. Ugh. You'll get it one day, Sophia. I don't have the emotional bandwidth to teach it to a phone right now. Really? Akane-chan. Thank goodness Makoto was here. That poor girl. Both Akane and Gramps are really torn up inside. We ought to get to bed. We've got a long journey ahead of us tomorrow. I just realized, aside from maybe On and Joker, every person in this room has had a parent issue. Makoto, obviously. Futaba, obviously. Haru lost her dad. Uh, Yusuke lost both his parents. Ryuji lost his dad early on. And I'm not, I, I forgot what happened to Ryuji's mom. I don't know if she's still in the picture. But then you have An's parents who are always out of the picture because <laughs> welcome to Persona. True. I just I had to think about I had to think about it. It's like wow, just a bunch of people gawking at her trauma, and then I was starting to think, oh yeah, you know what? Now I think about it, they all kind of can at least relate to her on some level, except for protagonist Kuhn. Yeah, my heart's all warm and fuzzy now. I'm gonna sleep like a baby. Your face doesn't show it. <sighs> Those kids. Are you? Have you been? Wh where were you? Were you eavesdropping on us the whole time? It got ten times weirder. Yes. <laughs> that was a whole lot of talking. Yeah, what was that? Oh my gosh. Almost 30 minutes of not having a chance to save. I got nervous. Well, Akane, I've got to get going. <laughs> um. Once the case is through, I'm going to take some time off. What do you say we take a trip somewhere? How about we visit a theme park? I'm not a little kid anymore. Oh, okay. Sorry. Shit, it is tense here. Oh boy. Getting these two to open up is going to be a real hassle. Also, be careful, Zinkichi. Those are death flags. Really bright death flags. Come on, be real with them. Don't. Come on, please, just stay out of it. Too late. Aww, are we still feeling pouty? Don't you think it's time to grow out of the whole Sundere thing? You too, Fatabachan? Come on, quit it. Will we ever be able to truly reunite father and daughter? Just give it a little more time. I hope they find the opportunity to bond. I'm sure they'll make it. Right, Akane-chan? <sighs> yeah, I guess. The time has come. 
If we wait any longer, the ferry will depart before we arrive. Sounds like we have to get going. Take care, Akane-chan. Oh, uh, thanks for everything. Um, here, it's like a Kyoto souvenir. I mean, you guys did so much for me, so... It says, get the fuck out of our town. Wait! Yeah, we'll hang it up in the RV, alongside the other three items I've gotten and not knowing where they show up. Uh, mini umbrella? I can order a cocktail and get the same damn thing, Akane. Of course! Next time, we'll bring tons of snacks and we can stay up all night gossiping. We can share a bath again, too. Reach out to me anytime you like. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Mm-hmm. Got it. Have a good trip. Also, don't download Emma. You may get brainwashed by a pop star. Yeah, no, that's for real. Take a shot. Come on, say all your goodbyes. Um... I guess... Be careful. Uh... Is that it? Oh. Okay. Gotcha. I'll be careful. Whoa! Sure seemed to work for him, though. Fun fairy ride. Ooh, is this anime cutscene? Wow, oh, no, pretty. I'm disappointed. It's like a field of shining blue jewels. Oh, <laughs> I know I'm gonna cry. Now this is a sight to see. <sighs> I'd love it even more if we were just here for a casual trip. What do you think, Sophia? Pretty nice. So this is the Okinawan Sea. Ah, oh, shit, drop my phone. What's it like under the water? Oh, I like the double entendre. It's breathtaking. Okay. I'd like to see that for myself one day. Man, ain't riding on a big-ass ship like this so exciting? Indeed. Perhaps my adventurer's heart has been stirred. I can feel a surge of passion within. Okay, then. No wasting this opportunity. It's time to get in formation. Ryuji, on your hands and knees. Huh? Am I what? Ryuji, on your hands and knees. Huh? Am I what? Huh? Am I what? Ryuji, on your hands and knees. Save that clip. Save it. That can be used in so many situations. of the town musicians of Bremen. Just why did you need me for this? Hey, you! Get down! That's dangerous! You guys are so stupid. The amount of people that know we're phantom thieves, honestly, I'm surprised your daughter didn't find out. Yeah, no, we're fucking dumb. Why did she need Morgana? No clue. made it. We're on that ship forever. I still feel like I'm on the waves. <laughs> it was quite the rare experience, being surrounded by the dazzling sea like that. So this is Kukujima, huh? Oh, there are more people than I expected. Right? I was picturing something closer to an untouched island than all this. It's called Torism. This actually was a pretty quiet place until just a few years ago. But eventually, some folks cooked up a mass migration plan. They even had a slogan. Find your new tropical life. Get the fuck out of our cramped cities. Hey, look, Tria right there, backpacking down the road. All of a sudden, a population under 200 people suddenly explodes to nearly a thousand. The port area is really quite lively. It has a bit of a resort feel to it. Sounds like summer vacations back on. Come on, you know we're not here to screw around. First thing we do is head for the research facility. He's right. We should start there. 
I'd like to get the investigation underway as soon as possible. There go the two cops again. We really don't have, I mean, do we? Do we really? I guess we don't. So, yeah, we don't really have a choice. We can enjoy our free time here once the case is solved. Our current objective is the lab Ichinose found. Okay, let's go. Um, uh, which way? Hit us with the deep, Sophia. Hmm. Huh? What's up? I wasn't able to find any information regarding the facility. I mean, yeah, it's supposed to be secret. I thought that was... Uh, <sighs> whatever. How the hell is that possible? Well, Ichinose did say it wasn't exactly on the level, right? Maybe we just have to track it down ourselves. I'm sorry I couldn't help. Oh, that's the case. We should ask around and see if we can find any locals who know about it. Who do you think we should ask first? Oh, maybe the shopkeepers know something. Ooh, I spy a souvenir shop. I'm going to buy something for Sojiro. Wait, Futaba. I'll join you in the search for native crafts. <sighs> oh, now we're investigating not a person, but a place. Neat. Hello, Commissioner? It's Hasegawa. What's the situation? It's unlike you to go dark for three days straight. My apologies. I was on the ocean. I, I couldn't get a connection. The ocean? The investigations led us to Okinawa. I, I wonder what's going what was going through the commissioner's head when she had that kind of reaction. Like, did she just think he was sitting on a floaty in the middle of nowhere? Supposedly, there's a research facility here with ties to that Emma app. This was the best lead I had. I brought the fan of thieves along with me. Any chance of locating concrete evidence there? Nah, it's too soon to tell. I'll start by questioning the facility staff. If I find out they're trying to cover their tracks, though, I'll have to escalate the investigation. And I'll definitely need you to send backup, if that's how it pans out. Fine. Keep me posted. We're still looking into Medis on our end. I'll let you know should anything turn up. Thank you, ma'am. Remember, Hasegawa, the Phantom Thieves are not solely in your pocket to help you track down the perpetrator. You are keeping them close for when we are pressed to present a culprit. When the time comes, you will turn them in immediately. Don't get too attached. Is that clear? I can see the velvet room door over there. Lavenza peeking out. Let you look, we're all over there by the shop. Lavenza should peek out and let me know that ha that uh, uh, freaking uh, oh my gosh, Zenkichi is not on the up and up. Uh, <clears throat> understood. <sighs> Rabbi Ignite, thank you for the prime sub. This depressing Kichi is for you. We should get going ourselves. Maybe we can track down this research lab. Begin investigation. Yeah, see, Lavenza, you can see behind our RV. Where were you? We need your help a lot. And if Igor's not here, I need you to be my other eyes and ears. I helped you out a lot. Oh, gosh, I have requests. <laughs> what do you guys want? This is the request. Uh, wait, I thought I already... Oh, I didn't do that one. You're already working on this one. Mission accomplished. You're already working on this one. Oh, yeah, I didn't have the persona I needed to get that one. What are the other ones? You're accepting this request? Uh, show Mitra with generate one. Okay. Sapporo. Junk collection. Mariko. Okay, yeah, so do the boss fight again, collect some junk. Essentially, this would all send me back to Sapporo. We're not doing those right now. Let's start talking to people. Hey, you, soul-searching woman. What's life like here? You're looking for a research lab? Sorry, but I'm just a tourist. Why not ask Emma? You have a photo, right? You have a phone. Ugh. Well, thanks a lot, woman. <sighs> oh, hey, sorry. I can't help but stare at that ocean. Getting to take it easy in a place like this would be so nice. I heard there's even a, 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 pu a great public beach nearby. I hope we have time to check it out. Really? On. Head in the game. Beautiful. 
the endless skies and ocean, the pleasant crashing of the waves, the scent of fresh fruit wafting along the wind. This is no mere tourist attraction. This is truly a natural paradise. And look at this she saw! The grandeur of its profile, the dynamism of its lines! Oh dear, he's totally in the zone now. What? Okay. I'm not gonna know how to pronounce this until they say it like two hours from now. Oh me OMG, Shisa! Oh shit, it's already auto-scrolling. <laughs> Alert, I've never seen one in real life. Whoa, look how detailed they are from close up, and they all have different expressions. These are Divine Guardians, said to stave off disasters. Apparently the one on the right is male, while the left one is female. Oh, so they're a couple. Good looking out, Mr. and Mrs. Shisa. So, funny thing. I do watch a, 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 a person on YouTube who goes into, like, cultural interpretations from, like, Asian-inspired films, mainly Mulan. She actually pointed out that a lot of the films uh, that kind of take inspiration but don't know exactly what the architecture represents if you have two lions uh, I forget, they're not lions but essentially the two animals that flank the doors of like palaces if they look the same they're the same gender which means instead of having a mr and mrs she saw to guard no it's not foxes i think it's like i want to say they look like lions but I, it's more like an arch artistic thing. I don't want to get into that. But <laughs> essentially, gay lo gay gay animals are protecting the palaces in uh, Asian-inspired animation. Are the Shisa lions? I don't know. I didn't want to say <laughs> and get and be told I was wrong in the comments. Wait, I can't talk to this? You had a bubble. Okay, I guess not. Alright, how about you, session player? Research lab? Oh, that place over yonder. Yeah, I have no idea. I actually quit my job and just moved here not too long ago, so I still have much to learn about the island. Oh, you want to hear a little tune? No, I don't. Bye. Cheerful man. Oh, wow, you came for some Poro? That's crazy. I'm surprised you made it all this way. There's honestly nothing here, but I hope you enjoy your stay. Huh? A research lab? How about you visit the beach instead? Yeah, why don't you go do that? Well, that was suspicious. Uh, I don't think they were dragons. Like, lion... They might have just been lions but with artistic flair um. I came across a group of outgoing locals so I asked them a few questions once I told them I was from Chioko they gave me all this produce those are called bitter melons or gyoa or goya yeah I was about to say gyoza goya in Okinawan <laughs> why the locals told me they were picked just this morning look how bright they are I bet they're delicious perhaps we should try cooking something with these I'd love to watch you work your magic Really? Hey! Just give me all your food, I'll turn it into something edible. Everyone's so friendly and cheerful, you really don't come across too many people like that in the city. Yeah, they're all assholes. Everyone's got a place to be. But nobody's admitted to knowing anything about the lab on the island. Could they be less outgoing than they seem? Probably. Hmm. That lab is the one employer in this whole town. Shinsuko, Umibudo, Irabu. What should I get as a souvenir? Oh, I'm sorry. I should get back on track. I don't know how to pronounce any of that. I tried questioning the shopkeepers, but they were all very evasive. This island isn't too large, though. We should be able to divide up and form a thorough search. How many times do I have to talk to you? But there's a strange feeling I keep getting as I ask around, like they're hiding something. They probably are. We've got what you we recommend. Oh, okay, hold on. This is gonna get repetitive fast. Thank you. We recommend. Can you? So that's what you. Can you? We recommend. Thank you. We recommend that. Can you? We recommend. Thank you very much. Goat meat. Stop by again. Okay. I guess that makes sense. You don't have to have a lot of pasture for goats. You just need everything to the root. We've got good stuff in stock. Oh, goat soup. Well, we know what to use the goat meat on. Here you go. A distinct smell is wafting out from here. Maybe I should try eating whatever it is. Hey. Say, would you mind if I join you? I've been curious about this goat soup. I've read that it's very nutritious and energizing, despite its unusual flavor. So I've been needing to try out for a while now. But wow, this really does smell interesting. Looks like I may have to brace myself. All right, Homer, Haru Okumura, you can do this. Haru and I attempted the goat soup. We decided not to talk about the taste. <laughs> I feel a flash of inspiration. 
<laughs> oh yeah, let's inflict this on everyone else. I recommend that. Thanks. Is that everything? Uh, actually, the Rekukaja effect may be interesting, but it's only 10 HP. I have plenty of other items. Hey! If this tastes like garbage, can I make it better? No, I think it's more like, this tastes like garbage. Here, taste it. Uh, ooh, these are pretty good. Okay, Ryuji, I think I found your dad. He may not be genetically yours, but his personality is definitely the same. Well, hey! Wait, what? A magazine with info about Okinawa hotspots increases showtime gauge? What? We're in the middle of a battle? I'm expecting someone to stop and read this magazine? Well, oh, that's good. I'll take that. Here are your goods. Is that everything? Here, stay set. Triple filtered carbonated Shibuya water. Why does it have to be water from Shibuya? Honestly, I imagine that's pretty polluted. Uh... Man, I can't even find one Okinawa-style soba shop. Hunt for one later. No way, man. Uh, yeah, it was. I was totally gonna question some sh soba shop staff. <laughs> A nice bowl of soba sounds pretty good to you now, doesn't it? How about we grab some once we're up this investigation stuff? Huh, that should have a question mark. By the way. Hey, uh, where'd Gramps go? Last I saw him, he was wandering around out back. Well, go check the RV to make sure he's not skulking back there. Nope. Alright. Actually, you know what? Now that I'll just add this. Far, there we go. I'm busy. Hey, I might have some intel for you. Come meet me behind the souvenir shop. Mm -hmm. Looks like Zinkichi found something. Should we check it out? No. I'm not gonna. Yeah, no, that's nice. I'm gonna go over here. Hey, hey I, uh, you can't gawk at the locals? And what kind of tour spot is this? Hey. Oh, hey. I overheard from some delivery man that there's a really big building. Really? You overheard from some delivery man that there's a really big building just over there? Really? Really? Is this, is this an artistic license? Is this just so I know later on that there's supposed to be a big building back here? Cause uh, it's kind of fucking obvious. Yeah, do you think it's behind the big building over there? I now greatly fear for uh, public security because uh, the man they have on the job is blind. Wow, look at that path. And look at the giant building it's leading to. This was most likely it. God damn it. You could pull this damn thing up on Google Maps and see it from the satellite view. What's the plan? What would you like to do, Texan? If we're going to investigate, I can summon every... Oh my god. Yeah, please do. I... This is this is just sad. Okay. Oh, but are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Is this the path to the research? I just facility? flew my head back I so hard. So, yes. <laughs> that my earbuds popped out. Hold on. <laughs> Investigation complete. Go find the big 
fucking building, and you're done. God, I guess I should be happy, because honestly, the investigation bits are not really all that fun, but seriously. A sacred festoon? Don't you only see that stuff at shrines and shit? What's it doing here? Oh, oh, I got it! They sealed a legendary yokai in there! Ah. This is a lab, though. Wouldn't we find zombies or things like that instead? Whatever it is, it's spooky. I on it, I've lost the I've lost my touch for personality here. It's just so blindingly obvious. I feel like the map designer could have been a bit more creative about hiding the building. Especially when the dialogue is like, oh yeah, no, I heard from some people that there's a building just past this point. And it's like, dude, what the fuck? It's right there. Don't be ridiculous. You were kidding, right? Enough nonsense. This lab's in the real world. Let's get going. Hey, Sophia. Just to be sure, there's no jail here, right? There is no jail on this island. I think. Well, I think? that clenches it. I smell them or whatever. Yeah, you'd mentioned that you find the jails based on their scent. I am currently detecting zero scents. Unlike Sendai and Sapporo, I cannot sense a jail here. However, there is indeed something odd about this place. I'm getting a bad feeling. Bad feeling, hmm? You have a bad feeling Ooh, about this? Maybe you're picking up somebody with a grudge. Ooh, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Cut it out. It's not funny, Futaba. Whatever's up there, we need to check it out. Makoto, it's broad daylight. Is this really that disquieting? We are closed until August 18th due to prior engagements. Okay, guys, there are vending machines up here. This is not a hidden establishment at all. We're, we're just fucking stupid. Well, sure didn't see that one coming. I guess we're done here. Case closed. Leaving empty handed's no good. You know, we could always just sneak in. Hey, 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 nothing that lands you in jail. Criminal trespassing will cop you a felony. Plus, any evidence gained through a criminal act is impermissible in court. That'd make this whole trip pointless. Ah, if only you lived in America, where it doesn't matter. <sighs> Actually, I guess it would matter if Zenkichi got it. We're not agents of the government. Though I guess if he told us to go in there, then it would... Yeah, no. The fruit of the poisonous tree exists. But if we just decide to go in there on our own, then it'd be admissible. Zenkichi just can't tell us to do it. Because then we'd be his agents. That's your lawyer tip for all of April. Because I doubt I've been talking much about that stuff today. I mean, we know, but... The sign says the 18th. So we'll just wait till tomorrow. Easier and less illegal. Once the staff is back, I can start flashing my badge and asking questions. This place is all kinds of shady, so I'm sure I'll turn up plenty of dirt with enough poking around. Once I've got some evidence, I can announce the start of an official investigation. And at that point, we confiscate whatever we need. I see. That's quite the tactical approach. Ooh, check out the skills of Zenkichi. Private eye. Yeah, I'm in public security. Section, go We're fuck We're waiting yourself. until tomorrow. That gives us quite some time. Wait, you mean we get to party all day on the beach? Oh, that sounds awesome. Everyone break out your bikinis. You too, Ryuji. Yeah, we don't want to waste any more time. How often do we get a chance like this? Come on now. We are on a case, you know. Actually, that's not the worst idea. Getting too nosy right away could get people suspicious, and we cannot have that. We'd be better off trying to lay low around the tourists for now. So... We get to see you in a bathing suit, Zinkichi? We get to party! On the beach? Christine Sands? Lady on? And to top it off, a barbecue? And to top that, lobster! We have a winner! Let's round up the supplies before we venture forth. Okay, I'll search nearby stores. 
or rather, nearby store. The only supermarket on the island is back at the port. Yeah, no, that's where we bought this goat. Now we move the RV. What do you guys think about here? This spot just screams, Beach party! Drive the RV onto the beach. Do it, cowards. It almost looks dreamlike. All right. Let's set up camp. Beach time! <laughs> hey, wait for us, dude! Hold on! You haven't put on sunscreen! Hey, hey, hey! Can't you kids at least behave? Not until we see you in a speedo, Zenkichi. Do it! Do it now! Jeez, these loud ass rats. Loosen your tie, Zenkichi. You can't Don't see me, stupid. but I'm bobbing eyebrows. Check a few things on the camper. You go have fun. People will be suspicious of anyone with such a sour look on their face, Zenkichi. You're gonna act like a tourist, at least fake having fun. Why not try relaxing for once? Remaining on edge all the time can't be good for you. You can't beat this opportunity, Zenkichi san. <laughs> Are you really gonna let the little lady down, Zenkichi? Oh, fine, fine. I'll take a break. But just a short one, you hear me? <laughs> you don't seem too bothered at all over it. Shut up! Take me with you. This will be my first time in the ocean. Hell no, I'm not getting my phone wet. Smartphones are totally waterproof nowadays. Please? I know this phone can go underwater. I just checked again. I think you finally learned how to be capable of lying. Yeah, sure thing. I guess we're just taking for granted the phone's gonna be fine. Someone get me a baggie. Oh yeah, we're all going wild today. Yeah, no, I just, this reminds me of, like, the iPhone Wave incident where people were saying that the new OS update made your phone waterproof. This this feels exactly like that. What? There's our anime cutscene. Oh, man, the water's so clear. Yeah, no, that's nice. Whoa. Where's, Zen where's Zenkichi? Okinawa's the friggin' best! Hey, no. there he is! You've got to see these fish! Cut back to him. I don't care about this crap. Whoa. <laughs> Ruined my fucking phone. <laughs> Voila, you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Well, it's some detailed work. Oh, audio. Damn kids. What the Get fuck? No, I want to see him in a swimsuit. I th only got to see the top half. Game, fuck you. You hang on all the girls just fine, but when I need one bit of male fan service, I don't get it. And I'm not going to talk about Joker, Ryuji, and Yusuke. They're all teenagers. There's no proof he wasn't in a Speedo. That is correct. Yeah, my phone's buzzing, telling me it's broken now. Hey, got a sec? Be ready to move once things settle down, okay? If I get to see you in a swimsuit, sure. I'm sure I'll be fine. I've got this weird feeling in my gut. Done getting ready? For what? Well, I guess there's no need to be on edge this the whole time we're here. I think I'll go for a walk now that it's finally less crowded around here. Later. You should relax a bit for a bit yourself. Why not go hang out with everyone else? Yeah, sure. They can show me this large thing that we all have suddenly not noticed. Hope you're resting well. If you have some time, could you come talk to me? I have a favor asked. It'll be easier to play in person. Oh, great. Another can request. Nope, first I'm going to... Um, nope, nope, first we're doing this. We're doing what's in these. Hmm? 
so good it makes you say, oh. Alright, Futaba, you're first. Yo! What'd you think of the ocean life, Sophia? There were so many fish and shells and coral of all different colors and patterns of light waving and shimmery through the water. Ooh, how neat! Glad to hear you liked it. You know, everyone took me on a special trip to the beach last year. Yes, that was a very special time. I remember th I'll remember that day for the rest of my life. It's when I first joined the Phantom Thieves. Mm -hmm. That does sound like it would be a make for a very memorable day. I've got it. I'll commit today to my own memory. That way, I can cherish it forever. Don't you have, like, a photographic memory? Yeah. Well, is it time to transform from beach mode to barbecue mode? I'm looking forward to it. I guess that's like, step two. Why is Morgana just over here in the corner? Oh. I mm -hmm. can't read that. Yes, there's a sign. Mm -hmm. No entry beyond this point. Well, if that's not suspicious, but do you think it has anything to do with the research lab? I mean, do we see a giant building anywhere? With the sun setting soon, going alone may be overly risky. That's true. We should call everyone else over then. N not just yet. Mm. Yeah, no, I want us to have a damn barbecue. With all this sand, I can pee anywhere. Oh, there's something buried in the sand. Sea glass. Okay. I'm I'll, I'm glad you're all here in a line. Hey. Oh, Texan, can I consult you on something? No, you can ask me something. But consulting costs a fee. So you may think this is childish, but since we're at the beach and all, I think I'd like you to try Sukawari. You know, the game where you split a watermelon while blindfolded and dizzy? That sounds really dangerous. But sure, I guess that sounds like fun. Right! Really? Well, um... It's not like my family ever took a day at the beach together, uh, so I don't actually get to do it... Gr I didn't hey. actually get to do it growing up. Splitting a watermelon? That sounds like fun. I would like to watch. Yeah, Sophia? I'm happy to hear that. Is that the melon right there? Or is it a ball of sand? And I'm happy to help with preparations, if you like. You'll need one watermelon and... A whacking stick. A king six cents. All of the above, but I think this is the most important. Hmm. <laughs> Good point. No matter what the tools are, missing the mark has to be rather embarrassing. Now that we've started the actual planning, I'm beginning to get a bit nervous. Is that so? Perhaps you should warm up as, you've, uh, as much as you feel necessary in the jail first before taking your skills to the fruit. Once you split enough shadows, watermelon won't affect your nerves at all. Um... Uh, I don't usually split them, but a warm-up does sound like a good idea. Maybe I should file a request before I pick up a watermelon. Oh my god. Sorry if this is a bit silly. It is. It's really silly. But we're doing it anyway. Hey. I hope Senkichi's song isn't too upset with us. Anyway, today has reminded me a lot of our time at the beach last year. Ah yes, our trip with Futaba, as well as our time in Hawaii on your school trip. It was pretty soon after that Hawaii trip that I got to know you all. I never could have imagined we all share an RV as we traveled across uh, cross country on a I mission. See. Has it really been a whole year? I wonder what we'll be in another 365 days. Hopefully still in touch. <laughs> no need for such concern. I vow, here and now, to never miss a single payment on my cell phone bill. I see. Well, good for you, I suppose. And there's no need to worry if we ever do lose, lose touch. We'll all just come over and visit in person. I cannot wait. But I know I'm personally looking forward to the future. Both my own and everyone else's too. Yeah, Haru, can I talk to you about alone? I agree. Let's not forget to meet up, meet up every so often. That way we can always keep uh, each other up to date on the changes in our lives. Guys, you are all high school friends. Chances are half of you will disconnect and never touch base ever again. When the time comes, well, I'll be wa I'll be wa wa ugh. I'll be waiting a serving of your legendary something. Curry, of course. 
Yes, your curry recipe is the one thing I hope never changes. Well, actually, I still need to cook that curry recipe from Kyoto. Oh my gosh, how many conversations? Hey. The sun will be setting soon. Should we start getting dinner ready? That seemed like an odd bit to bring up. Hmm. So, Texan, this is one of those places that's going to stay in your heart, right? I can tell. Eh, seeing one beach, seeing them all. I'm just gonna do that again. Oh, wait, hold on. Needed the chime. I didn't know you were gonna do the chime. Neat. You know what? Open question. I'm, I don't want to. I don't want to have to pull you guys about ages. But how many of you keep in touch with high school friends? I honestly don't. I had a few friends in high school. We all went to different colleges. We never spoke again. Ah, oh, that was great. I think I laughed enough for two lifetimes. How much did you laugh in a single day? You're underwater half the time, too. Did you... Did you die? Uh, she found a shell. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Give me the shell. Seashell necklace. <sighs> Never wear it. Man, nothing beats the beach. I'm so glad we had a great time here, even if I don't get another chance this summer. Good for you. Welcome. Oh, there's your damn soba Ryuji. Is that everything? Thank you. <laughs> ah, there you go. Haha, <laughs> I was waiting for your Texan. Obviously, we gotta get some Okinawa soba while we're here. I mean, I've already had some already. I'm, uh, I've had some already, but I could easily down another bowl with you. When you add in all this, uh, curry juice, you? Whatever, the chili stuff. Anyway, I could eat a ton of this. <laughs> Blah, I put in way too much. I've discovered a new recipe. I recommend that. Oh, a whole watermelon. I'll get us some of that. That'll be fun to feed to someone during a fight. All right, get this request off the list. This is the request. Ah, Stickman Rules, thank you for the raid. You're doing this one? Oh, oh, I have to give one of those up. Time to get to work. You're I'm accepting not supposed this to request? accept always. Okay. Look, you're accepting this request? Okay. Let's do our best. You're accepting this request? Time to get to work. You're doing this one? Time to get to work. Hmm? Nah, no more soda. Makes me have to pee. No, I want to talk to Ryuji first. Don't know why you two are talking. I mean, he's back in his suit. I'm disappointed in you, game. Oh, geez, Vant Planet, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Oh, shit. I didn't know there was a conversation. Oh man, my side still hurt! Wasn't Gramps the most hilarious Venus you ever saw? What's that? You want me to show you those detainment techniques again? No, 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 please! Damn it. You can show me those detainment techniques in Kichi. Economy's not here. Jeez, I can't believe you damn kids. Got anything to say for yourself? For burying you in sand like a joke? I Should we have buried your head too? Let's try a different statue now, because clearly you didn't get the joke. Huh. Hell no! I'm not some little kid who could just talk and doing whatever. Well, the sun's about to set. We should set up the rowdiness and get on to dinner pretty too. Wrap up the uh, wrap up the rowdiness. Wrap up the rowdy. Row up. Rowdy rowd up. Damn. God, my back is killing me. I should have taken it easier today. You were laying in the sand. It's not like we're car it's not like you're carrying your own investigation. I'm gonna lie down yeah, get the hell out of here. Yeah, thanks for the money. I'm not gonna spend it on what you think I'm gonna spend it on. Uh they still wanna talk. Damn it. Pups like playing around the sand with Phantom Thieves. What is the what is this country coming to? <laughs> Whatever it may be, I have evidence of it. I took plenty of photos during our time on the beach. No, delete him. You gotta delete him, please. 
Yeah, no, that that's gonna be our blackmail on you. You think you can arrest us for being the Phantom Thieves? We've got pictures of you on the beach, buried in sand. Fear us. By the way. Oh my gosh, Ryuji, we just ate that soba. All right, fine. Everyone huddle up for the, for the, that sign doesn't apply to us because we can't read. Oh, no. I mean, just whatever. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we'll get people together. Leave it to me. No entry beyond this point? Uh, I wonder what for. Oh, shit. I really? Admit. It only contributes to the mysterious vibe here. Oh, looks like a dare to me. Come on, who's willing to go the farthest past it? Nope, this is the end of the line. There's an utaki down that way. See, there, on the side? What's an utaki? Basically, it's a land that's been considered holy since the Ryukyu era. People used to believe the gods lived there, or at least came to earth there. Locals still revere the places, even today. Going down there for a laugh could get you in real trouble. Sounds like the perfect place to hide something. I'm surprised you know all that. Well, Investigation 101 says to know your territory. Feel free to keep buttering me up, though. Does that mean there are Ryukyu era customs still being practiced today? Yep. Reverence of the incomprehensible is ingrained deep in human consciousness. Well, I'm sure you have no interest in pissing off a god today. Let's all listen to the sign and get out of here. Uh, about that. We kind of don't give a fuck what gods want kind of our thing is it similar to that gate you know the one by the giant obvious building we all missed no those festoons work differently but now that you mention it it is kind of strange i checked online for any relevant information but this place does not appear to have any real significance the other subjects here are far more interesting such as the shape of the coastline, the sounds of the waves crashing, and the oceanic life forms. A person's values can affect what makes an impact on them. It might be insignificant to you, but to others, this place may be very sacred. It depends on my values. My apologies. Inari's stomach, right on time as always. Well, I'm starving too. I bet we all worked up an appetite out there. Should we finally kick off our long-awaited barbecue? Uh, wait, no, wait. We have to go back. I didn't know I had to do the frickin' melon watermelon thing right here and now. But, sure, I guess I'm starving. Uh, hell yeah! Time for an Okinawan meat festival! Don't forget the curry! We gotta make some tropical edition LeBlanc curry! Um, uh, that's not exactly barbecue food. Also, didn't you already have curry on the ferry? Hmm. I accept your challenge. Curry will be a perfect complement to the searing white sands of this tropical paradise. That makes no sense at all. Seriously, what is with you two and curry? Hey. Can I help you? You know, this time not ruining my phone. Thank you for earlier. When you gave me the underwater tour, it was a fascinating experience. And something no AI could ever do on their own. I guess you could say it made my heart feel full. Although, I don't have a heart. You're right, you don't. Oh, that's not an option? Okay. That's not true, Sophia. It's a simple fact. There is no need to attempt to spare the feelings I lack. I am still going to try to understand what feelings are, though. I came to that realization when I first stared out at the sea. For example, being with you and the other phantom thieves, it's quite fun. Yes, fun. Did I get that right? I mean, I guess given that anime cutscene, I did have fun too. I got it. I understand another emotion. Okay, I've memorized what fun is. But if you had fun, then you were happy. Oh, cute chime. Hey, pick up the pace! We got a whole lot of cooking ahead of us! 
I mean, if you had fun, I mean, clearly that shows you have emotional capacity. You clearly experience frustration when you don't understand emotions. Oh, oh man, this meat is so good. Hey, you saw me about to grab that piece. The curry is divine as always. And with these leftovers, we're sure to dine on curry udon tomorrow. Let's ignore the fact that you're already planning tomorrow's dinner. Why not add deep fried tofu for Inari curry udon? We've been eating nothing but the most delicious food since this trip began. You're welcome. Traveling makes it a lot easier to lose track of one's diet. I should be more careful. Huh? But you're so toned, Makoto. Right? Don't put me in that trap. No comment. <laughs> Have I really put on weight? God damn it! That was a trap game. I don't appreciate it. I either say she looks ripped and she takes offense to looking muscular, or I say she looks toned and she probably thinks I say she looks weak. Hate it. Hate it. Hate you. Moving on. I mean, who cares if you've packed on a few extra God pounds? damn it! Probably gives your punches some extra oomph. Wanna test your theory? No, please, I don't! It's a trap! Hmm. What is it, Zenkichi? Upset stomach? Diarrhea? Oh, nah. Something bothering you? It's probably nothing. Let's wrap up. We gotta wake up early tomorrow. Okay. Hey, guys. Something's up. Yeah? What's that? You didn't get that watermelon from Makoto, and now she's even thinner. Keep it down. And listen. I think... Are we being followed? What about the tent? Oh, shit. Are we... Did we just abandon the RV? Oh shit! Creeper be creeping in a tacky Hawaiian shirt, no less. Lock the damn door! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There are only two beds back there. What? Uh, uh. Hey! It's empty! They what the fuck? Far. Find them! <laughs> we have they to punish them for defiling hollow ground! Find them! We'll they make an offering close. out of them. Where are they? They couldn't have gotten far. Spread out. Come on. They can't. Come on. They're here somewhere. <laughs> uh, this Dude, island got really on? fucking crazy this real fast. Nice. No kidding. If Zenkichi hadn't picked up on what was about to happen... He said something about defiling hollowed ground. What's that supposed to mean? We didn't go to the Utaki, so the lab? I see. That could be it. Remember that straw festoon we saw on the entrance? That's right. We saw it, then proceeded further anyway. Hang on, hang on. What's so friggin' hollow about some lab? And even if it is hollowed, that doesn't explain how they're acting at all. They look like they want to kill us. It doesn't matter how we look at it. These people have lost their minds. Oh, I see. It's probably the jail we're having trouble finding. Instead of it being to a person, it's protecting the lab. Wait, could this be... Oh, okay. Well, okay. You know what? Game wasn't too far behind. There is a jail here. And that would there's a monarch somewhere around here, yeah? But Sophia said she can't smell a jail here. Correct. I cannot smell any jails here. 
However, you did also say you got a bad feeling from this place. Considering our current situation, I can only assume it's due to a changing of their hearts. But nobody tried to attack us until just now. Perhaps there really is something on this island. Something even Sophia can't attack. It's the Midnight Jail. We're wrapping Persona 3 and 4 right into this. What do we do now? They'll catch us if we just stay here. Let's get the hell out of here! Uh, well, the lab's still gonna be closed. Let's go to the Utaki. It's not like that's gonna make any difference now. Good idea. That place is hallowed ground to them, so they might not be willing to go there. Actually, if we plan on trespassing somewhere they don't want us, shouldn't we go to the lab? But it, what? what? Mean, it's pretty obvious, based on how they treat that place, there's something fishy there. No matter where we go on this island, they'd catch us eventually. Why not strike at the heart of the matter right away? But if we leave the RV, I can't cook any of our meals. By heart of the matter, do you mean a jail? However, there is no jail. Sure, there's no jail. But I'd bet we'll at least find something in their holy land. And it sure sounds like a better plan than waiting in the bushes until they find us, right? Y yeah, sure, whatever. I've got to agree. Okay, let's head for the lab. Wait, how are we getting there? Without getting spotted. <laughs> what are you asking me for? Aren't you guys the phantom thieves? We don't have special well, powers right those now. Those abilities are only relevant in the cognitive world. You just gotta go with the flow. Follow my lead. And keep your voices down. Yeah, looks like the coast is clear. That's surprising. I expected guards to be posted here more so than anywhere else. Haha, ha. Ryuji, the runner, is out of breath, but protagonist Kuhn, still chill as hell. Wait, listen. Eek! Footsteps, hide. It's that fucking Hawaiian! What's he doing? Sure, I mean the sure. I can't exactly tell from over here. This could actually be good for us. There's only one guy. If we capture him, we might be able to question him. Uh, so much for committing no crimes, Enkichi, or are you just gonna go ahead and make a public, uh, public security arrest here? Yeah, sure. I'll help. <laughs> Don't worry. Leave it to the professional. You're doing it by yourself, Gramps? I've been through enough training. I'll be fine. You guys just stay here and keep an eye out for any of his buddies. Holy crap! Gramps just got way cooler! Yeah, uh, about to see a cop assault a man, so get ready with your topical buttons, everybody. Hello, excuse me? Scout! You dare defile our lord's hallowed ground? Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Oh, wow. Watch your step there. You all right? Not again. You totally threw him on his ass! Hey, it was clearly self-defense. He truly is a member of public security. Looks like we've moved with the, uh, all cops are bad baton has shifted over to Yusuke for this. Hey, take a look at that. The sign we saw this morning. Look again. The 18th was changed to the 19th. Hmm. Apparently, the facility's staff is on permanent vacation, one day at a time. Why would they do this? Because anyone who stays the night to try and get there the next day are attacked by the townsfolk. Most likely, to string along anyone who came to the island for the lab. Ta-da! When someone thinks the staff's out for the day, they probably stick around the island. Come nighttime, the locals descend on whoever got too curious to protect whatever's in there. What horrid tactics. Well, let's investigate a bit. If his heart's been changed, he should have a smartphone with Emma installed. I'm just gonna go ahead and search the body. Up, oh, found it. Yep, there's Emma, all right. And he only has one friend? Ha! <laughs> so depressing. 
Shuzo Ubukata? There's a chance this Ubukata is the monarch of Okinawa. Anyone got a keyword? Uh, that one's a lot tougher. Oh, hang on. There's an email here. Cordial invitation to serve as a tester of the Emma system. An Emma tester? Oh, this even has a keyword in it. You had the phone so long you were a beta- You had the app for so long you were a beta tester, and you only have one friend. It's so depressing. Operation Oraculi? Who sent him the email? I don't recognize the address. Maybe it's from the lab? The lab asked all of these guys to be Emma testers? What now? Thanks to the email, we know the keywords Operation Oraculi. If the people who call this place hollowed have their hearts changed, then it's going to be jail related, without a doubt. But, like, we can't find a jail here, right, Sophia? I'm not sure. At the very least, I do not smell one. One way to know for sure, you have all the deets. He's right. If we can't get in, that'll settle it. But if there is a jail here, testing the keyword will send us right in. Are we all ready? We have no choice but to try. Our pursuers have decided our path. Yeah, even the metaverse feels safer to me than this place does now. Okay. We'll have let's fun do sleeping it. there because we lost the Emma, RV. Add Shuzo Ubukata to my friend registry. Keyword. Operation Oraculi. Uh, guess it doesn't work. Wait, I can smell a jail. The scent is already all around us. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. You stupid kids. Is this the lab? It's kind of eerie. Bad vibes here, guys. This place looks straight up haunted. Uh, Queen, uh, you all right? Uh, 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 yep, all fine here. <laughs> you sure don't sound fine. <laughs> Screw you too, kid. <laughs> Wait, I didn't know you two were... The monarch turned out to be the can. Now, if I had given her the melon, would that have been different? I know it wouldn't have been, but it's funny. So there really is a jail here. And that means this Ubukata person is its monarch, right? But why wasn't Sophie able to detect it until just now? There is a possibility that it was sleeping. Jails can sleep? Once the keyword was entered, it almost felt as if this place woke up. Guys, Emma Tester. The jail looks abandoned. Put it together. Ah. So you mean jails have a sleep mode? Now this is a new wrinkle. Local Texan. Local Texan. Oh, okay. Hold on, guys. I'm going to stand here for a sec. Time for some Aria of the Soul. You appear to have entered quite the conundrum. Hmm. What awaits you here in these lands is an inhuman being. This is where she... Emma, you idiot. But yeah, sure. She? It's inhuman, but gendered? No. I oughtn't speak any further. Why? My duty is to witness your path laid before you by your decisions. 
You must witness for yourself the being I have mentioned. Wait, no. As for why I have called you here, a new form of persona execution is now at your disposal. You may now perform the Triad Fusion, a group execution harnessing special power. Well, now I gotta try it. Triad Fusions allow you to generate even more powerful personas. Please make wise use of it in preparation for the trials ahead. Farewell. Quinn, animals are inhuman and gendered. Fair Welcome enough. Welcome to the Velvet Room. But I don't think we're going after a monarch dog. Performing a fusion. Uh, let's actually make sure they're ready. You wish to first. browse the end? What will you be ready? Would you like? This persona has been registered in its present. Performing a fusion. Uh, oh crap. What did that Eligor need? It seems that it can gain new power. Uh. Choose which. Crap, I don't remember. Does anyone happen to know what this Eligor needed for that request? Can I actually. No, I can't pause to look. Divine Grace. Okay, well, definitely not here. Uh, I can go to the start menu? That's news to me. <laughs> oh, I have to back out. Here's what I found. You're already working on this one. Divine Grace. You're already working on this one. And regenerate. I don't think I have any of that set up properly yet. Awaken your new self. Well, we've talked about this one a lot, but then again, I also want to kind of get a... It seems that it can gain new power. Oh, wow. Naughty. Choose which... Uh, yeah, no regenerate for you. It seems that it can gain new power. Well, I do want to do a tri fusion just for the hell of it, but I don't want to... It seems that it can gain new power. You win. Choose which... Uh... Do, 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 what do you got? Well, you drain fire, so adding dodge would be useless. No fears, okay. You're about to learn a higher level heal, so giving you Medea doesn't sound like a good trade. Keep the curse damage. Is this the person? Show me that triad fusion! Oh, okay, it's just regular fusion, but now there's one more. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It was the same for Persona 5. Ah, I may know you you make and learn Divine Grace, and then I fuse it again. Okay, so we're on the right track here. So I'll just keep this one and train her up. It seems that it can gain. Oh wow, power. that's a lot of weaknesses. I mean, it's strong and fast, but it's weak to three different elements? That sounds like a bad deal. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll just do it, keep that. Yep, they're going to be wondering while I'm standing here. What's up? Nothing. Anyways, if all the people on this island got their hearts changed, doesn't that mean their desires were taken? We've got to get them those desires back fast. We're in real danger until we do. Good point. First, we need to figure out where they're being held. This really is real, isn't it? I just keep feeling like I'm losing it. Uh, sorry. But I'm going to stick around here while you do your thing. This place is your territory, not mine. Yeah, leave it to us. This is where we take down whoever's in our way. Mm. 
I mean, I want you to have an awakening, but yeah, sure. Keep an eye out for shadows. Yes, sir. I'll keep look out here. Just a moment. Sophie? I hear a voice deeper inside. What do you mean by that? I can hear someone calling for me. I'm going to check it out. Wait, no, it's just Lavenza hey, pranking you. Sophie! Let's go, Joker. Well, I guess she's not going to be in the party. Uh... Oh yeah, no, they took her out of the running. All right, let's see. Yusuke is the lowest, so have fun joining us. Okay, well, what, you keep doing that, but then you, like, show me... What did he learn? What do I need to replace? Let's see. Hmm. I should write something. Oh, actually, you know what? Perfect time to make sure that what happened to that request. Uh, it's still here, so I have to assume it's still doable. Oh, look, I already finished that one. All right, uh, let's see. It's 8.50... Okay, don't I, I I I don't spoil what happens next, but I wanna ask Is catching up with Sophia a whole big thing, or is it something I can do in like uh, thirty minutes? Okay, so I'm gonna quickly run to the bathroom, but then I'll be right back and we'll go ahead and hunt down Sophia.
All right, I'm back. I saw someone asking if uh, we were gonna, we or I was gonna do something with um, uh, Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne coming out. Uh, as much of a fan of Persona as I am, I actually haven't dabbled much in the SMT, you know, like main franchise. So I'm actually more leaning towards no, but if I get a hundred people begging me for it, <laughs> I'd do it. All right. Dude, what's gotten into her? She said it was a voice. Whatever voice. it is, we have to catch up to her. What's that? What's Igor? Have you been here? Uh, I can see it. So creepy. Hold on. Are I want to make sure I'm not me? missing anything neat. <laughs> yes. Ah. Let's hurry up and find Sophie. Hang on. There's something here. Is that a tape recorder? Let's see if it works. This plan brings to fruition a dream long cherished by the research team. No. By all mankind. Every last test subject, a successful change of heart where the penitentiary system is complete, the concept of suffering will be dead to all mankind. Now, let us rejoice and welcome the new age of humanity. Emma shall be our guide into this promised land. Red flags, Emma? everybody. Red flags. And changes of heart? Just as Ichinose said, there was indeed some form of experimentation on Emma here. The voice said something about a penitentiary system, too. I think I understand what they were researching here now. Changes of heart. Oh no, it's Persona 3 all over again. Yes, that would be a logical conclusion. Anyway, we'll talk more about it later. We need to track down Sophie first. Right. We have to catch up with her. Damn it, Shorty. Why'd she have to run off like that? Is that the first time you've called her that? I mean, I guess she is. I bet. Hey, why's it gotta get so dark on us? Focus has grown even eerier as well. What lies in wait ahead of us? The visibility level's a real issue, but I'm still worried about Sophie. Let's proceed with caution. You're safe, Sophie. Don't just run off like that. And it was Lavenza, wasn't it? Calling your name? I'm sorry. She does that. You said you heard a voice, yeah? Figure out who it is yet? No. It disappeared once I arrived here. We never heard anything of the sort. So only Sophie could hear it? It was very strange. The voice sounded similar to my own. And it was calling my name. Maybe the owner of the voice knows me. How's that, Sophie? The only memory I recall before meeting Joker is the directive to become humanity's companion. I've traveled so far with you all and learned many things. But I still know nothing about myself. When I heard the voice, I thought I had found my chance to learn about me. I'm sorry for worrying you. Yeah, again, the... I... These aren't facsimiles. You, the desire to know oneself. You, you have emotions. Quit saying you don't have a heart. I mean, we can all see the chain of them behind your head. You're Sophie. No one else. Thanks, Joker. I've got a feeling we can learn more about you right here. Huh? What makes you say that? I've been thinking for a while now. Jails. Emma, Sophie, I keep looking for some kind of connection. We found Sophie in a jail, right? Emma was linked to that jail. And Sophie is an AI like Emma. There's no way these are all coincidences. Something has to link all three. 
I had hoped we'd eventually come across the answer if we investigated the jails we found. I see. You believe these things have a uniting factor? Not only that, I at least kind of know what Sophie's going through. Not knowing your identity or your past, it's rough. So let's join Sophie in hunting down this mystery. Weren't we doing that in the... Yeah, let's do it for Sophie. Let's do it for Sophie, everybody. For Sophie. Really? Thank you. Well, now we got two missions. One, take back all the locals' desires so they stop trying to kill us. And two, figure out who the hell keeps yelling at Sophie. Let's just do both at once. Not like that's any... That's been a stop for us before. Yeah, good idea. I have no objections. It's only natural for us to assist both the public and our own teammates. What well, we've been doing right. every damn Agent dungeon, Bates. palace, Let's and jail. All right, hold on. I just realized uh, I want to change the party a bit up. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia's back, but actually I'm switching over to our more ignored party members. Oh, wait, actually, it's in... <laughs> Was that Futaba's level? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Sophia's. Then actually... There, that'll make you feel special, won't it? Shadow, just on the other side. BAM! Your true cool entrance. Freeze right past it. Strike! You won't escape! <laughs> Let's go! It's over! What's that? Didn't even break a sweat. Let's move huh. on. What is that? Focus. Ah, yeah, that's what I was looking for. What is that? Nearby shadow detected. Show me your true self. This ought to be good. Strike. We can do it. Wait, it's over? That's why. Let's keep up the pace, shall we? Wait, no, I already took cover. Even the shadows in this place. The default shadows look weird. Interesting. Oh my god! Let's go. Strong against Nuke, eh? Well, here's some chair for y'all. Oh, Lore of the treasure chest. Focus. There has to be some way up there. Eh, eh. Camera, camera, camera. Who are from here? What's that? Not the way up and over here. Oh, there's an air duct on the floor. I can see it. Ah, man, those things blend in way What's too that? well. Though I had third eye on, I still didn't see it, so no excuse. Oh shit, really? That's a first. And I just mm -hmm. used all my bond points too. Boo. Quick, someone do something friendly with me. Shadow, what 
than cleaning up uh, so this is a research lab for computer stuff that's supposedly the case despite the why is moving forward and shifting the camera back to the same stick Indians. there human experimentation that would mean this place is monarch to use the real Focus. facility in the same way yeah. what an effing gross way to see shit so many containers what do you think's inside? People! You to be roughly person-sized. I was kidding. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I, I got the um uh I got the music shuffle pack, so now any normal fight gets just random music. Ooh, what's in it? Ooh, it's new clothes for you, Futaba. The Put them on. <laughs> Yo. I see. Hold on. So... It's a shadow. Careful. Hey, a checkpoint. Make sure you register it. But right this, this goes first. <laughs> Oh no, not this one. Oh okay, weak to psychic. Got it. I just remember it's so it's pretty much immune it's immune to physical attacks. Strike! 
another tape recorder. Let's listen. May provide us some clues about the lab. Please, Director Ubukata. We must immediately abort the experiment. It's too dangerous. These are the orders I was given. If the system isn't tested on real humans, it won't ever be completed. But tricking the islanders into participating? So these guys are the ones who left up the island. I heard a Director Ubukata. I believe that means one of the speakers is Shuzo Ubukata. Orders, I was given. You know what happens to a person when their desire is taken, Director. We've learned of another party manipulating the cognitive world for their own purposes in the real one. But we cannot allow these individuals to progress beyond us. So long as we follow the divine revelation, we will attain the ideal society. I have absolute faith in the system as it was prophesied to me. What ideal society turns its entire population into slaves? This isn't any divine revelation. It's a curse. It can only lead to our destruction. Oh yeah, I'm getting some Persona 3 vibes now. Though I guess the research into the... While still rather fuzzy, we are starting to see the big picture. Yeah. This lab was researching jails and changing people's hearts. And they used the island's residents as their test subjects. We did see that email earlier about joining the Emma test. They both mentioned a divine revelation, too. Could that have something to do with Operation Oraculi? How would that involve Emma? That's the million dollar question. What is Emma's role in all this? Not just that. I'm curious who was pulling this director's strings, too. Perhaps the mastermind behind this case? Can we finally be getting close to the guy? We have to find the desires first, regardless. And also track down that voice for Sophie. Let's press on. just add this actually we can probably all right guys uh i am starving so i know some of you've been saying this is a pretty short jail but i don't know how short and i, I don't know how how bad the fighting ahead is going to be so i'm going to go ahead and call it here tonight but uh tomorrow while we do have the talk has pod show at the normal time we don't have anything that evening planned so i'll probably come back on here Maybe a bit later, because I do have to cook dinner that night. Uh, but uh, I'll be back here tomorrow night. And that's when we'll probably finish up this jail. So I'm going to save again, just in case my brain completely failed me. And I think I'm going to send you guys over to Nick, who I believe is back on the Final Fantasy XIV guild. He and Taka started ages ago. So I hope you all have a good night. And tell Nick. Oh, what should I? What should you tell Nick? I want it to be something funny, but I'm not thinking of anything right now. Split that watermelon. Sure, your worried message is split that watermelon. <laughs> Thanks, Planet, for the 666 bits. Good night, guys. <laughs>